Hi everyone. See, I got a new toy I want to show you. This is a little solar charger that I've got. It's an 11 uh, Soul Wing solar charger. This is a 13 watt charger. Now, I've had this for about six months, but I haven't done a review on it. Uh, because I wanted to get familiar with it and make sure that it works. There's nothing worse than doing a review on something and then six months later it breaks. So I have got to play with this thing quite a bit and I really haven't had any now problems this guy weighs in at 15 ounces or 443 grams. Uh, it's 7 inches by 12 inches and it's basically a half an inch thick. Uh, open it up here. There's the panels on it. On the back side of it, you do have a compartment. And by the way, this thing is all USB port. But you do have a compartment on it. You can put stuff in your your phone, your iPod. Right there is two, I don't know if you can see that, two USB ports. Very simple to use. This charger will charge uh, iPhones, iPads, iPods. Uh, GPS system, uh, camera, it's charged that camera that we're looking through. It's charged my GoPro camera. It'll charge anything that is a USB port, a uh, 5 volt system, it'll really charge simple. it. Really uh, simple. Now I bought this little uh, uh, USB tester, it's a power tester. Now you don't need this to run this, you can plug directly in to your USB port. But I got this just to see, it'll show me what my readings are and stuff. So basically, I'm going to take my iPod here and just plug it into the output. And flip it over here, get her in the sun. Now I don't know if you can see this or not. But right now... I am pushing 5 volts, 5.14 5 volts right now. And the iPod is into it, and it shows the battery is charging. Now, I, uh, the iPod was about a half a battery a couple days ago, and I plugged it in. It took me approximately 30 minutes to get a full charge on the iPod, which ain't too bad. But I don't know if you can see that little meter or not. I'll try to put it in the shade. But right now I'm at 61 amps. 5.14 volts is what it's charging right now. And like I say, you don't need this little meter. You can actually just unplug that. You can see the red light on, on the charger right now saying that it is charging. And you just take your device and plug it directly into the USB port. Oops. It's kind of hard to do this, trying to get the camera to see it. We'll just plug it directly into the USB port. Just like so. And we are still, still charging. So it's really very very simple to use there's a lot of these things on the market guys uh, there's ground zero and I'm not saying this is the best one but this one has worked well for me uh, do your research on these things find the best one that works for you uh, they are nice to have uh, for hiking go backpacking if you're gonna stay somewhere for a while they work great charge your batteries for your camera uh, power goes out on your house for a while uh, you can always charge your phone. Uh, they are a good item to have. Uh, I paid $55 for this one, and that's with shipping. And it's worked out for me fairly well so far. So, hey guys, thanks for watching.